Okay, so this is my five months on tea video. It really doesn't seem like it's been that long. Um, and yet again, I didn't notice that it'd been that long until it was pointed out to me. I'm using my phone uh, to make this video. Apparently you couldn't really hear me in the videos that I made off the camera. So hopefully this will be a bit better on the phone. So changes. Um, yet again, I feel terrible for saying this. Nothing's really happened. Like, hair. Um, that's about it, like, that I've noticed, but we all know I'm awful at noticing things. I've been away for the last three weeks and I haven't actually had a mirror, so that's quite hard to, like, notice things. Uh, my voice did do something the other day, which was really weird, like, it went, like, really, really, really deep, and it sounded, like, weird. So, I don't know whether that's it preparing to, like, do a big drop or something, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, like, hair. It's coming in more on my arms. I don't know if it's where it's gonna come in or if it's just like spots, but here. Um, and I've been really bad and I've been picking at them because like I pick at myself quite badly um, because I've been away and I haven't had a mirror. I haven't been as tempted to do my face, but like my arms have been here and yeah, it's not good. So yeah, my arms are getting hairier, my legs as usual seem to be getting hairier, um, my hands are definitely getting hairier, which like. I don't know whether you'll be able to tell on this camera, you probably won't, but like, you can definitely see it here, where like, I've got, I haven't had a tan, um, but it's coming up onto my hands and um, on my fingers. It's kind of weird because they look like my dad's hands now, and I really don't want to look like my dad because I don't particularly like him, like I don't want reminders of him. But yeah, that's nice that they're getting hairier because my hands, I do feel a bit disordered about anyway because they're like, really small. Facial wise, I kind of did a stupid thing and shaved it all off, it would been four weeks ago now. Um, it has grown back, eventually. Um, it took a while. I don't know why I thought that'd be a good idea. I just did. It felt quite nice, like, to start with. For like a day, I was like, oh, this is nice, I might do this all the time. And then, I was like, why did I do that? What possessed me to do that? It's come back. Which is nice to know. Um, I think there's like another hair about to join, my one hair on my chin. So that'll be fun. I really just want something here rather than just like stuff here because yeah, I don't know. I just I'd rather have it here. I feel like my Adam's apple is like, more pronounced than it used to be, but I never really took a record of that. So yeah, I don't know. Like I feel like it is, which is great because that was one of the things that I really wanted when I was younger. I didn't know why I wanted it. Uh, that's like physical, why is it mental? Like, I'm just glad that I haven't had a weird breakdown thing for quite a while. Um, which obviously is good. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And also, I haven't updated about this in a separate video because I've been away. Um, so I'm just going to put it in here. I got my date, finally, for my surgeon with Mr. Yelland down in Brighton. It was typical, I was in the middle of like my last assessment, like this big practical assessment that I had to do to pass this course, and my phone started ringing, my, my phone had just broken, so I didn't have any numbers. Um, luckily I took a spare phone with me when I go away on training courses, because I have the worst luck. Anyway, I had a quick look at the phone and it was a landline and I didn't recognise the area code and I was just like, is it, is it actually them? And I wasn't sure, I, I just scraped through because I think it was distracting me that this could be the phone call that I've been waiting so long for. And yeah, I listened to the voicemail and it was them and I called them back and yeah, I have my dates. Pre-op is on the 12th of November and the actual surgery is on the 23rd of November, so it's not that long at all. I was worried that it's going to be a January, February time now because of what she said on the phone to me before but no, it's this side of Christmas. It could have even been like a couple of weeks earlier but I can't do before like the 8th of November because I'm down on another training course. So just, this is the soonest that I could possibly do so it's great, like I couldn't have asked for any better. So yeah, everything's coming in place. Um, Lots of things I need to buy and organise. I will, I'm just, I'm just going to make another video on things that I'm getting for top surgery, like prep stuff. But yeah, that's like my big news for this month. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy about it, obviously. Um, it's, it's just such a relief to know what's finally happening. Physically, not much going on. Um, but like with life stuff, a lot going on. Um, so that's that for now. Um, 
yeah, I will update you. But yeah, that's it for now.